Hello there Star Wars fans and collectors and welcome back to another Star Wars fig review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Black Series Obi-Wan Kenobi from the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV show. This is uh, Obi-Wan dubbed uh, as Jabim Obi-Wan and this is you know the outfit that he wore that he wears in Jabim but he also wears his outfit in other um, episodes and, and other planets and so this is actually not a bad figure. I'd probably give this an 8 out of 10 because it's a decent figure to have in your collection. Uh, it's not the best figure, so I don't think it's I don't think it deserves a perfect score, but it's not again it's not bad. So um, this is a figure that I recently bought, and it's a, it's a, not a bad figure. So uh, yeah, so figure is you know nicely sculpted, has great accessories, uh, but I feel like there's room for improve, improvement on on uh, on that. And so yeah, but anyway, let's take a look at the packaging before we take a look at the figure itself. <coughs> Excuse me. The packaging is your standard black series um plastic free packaging so the front's the same this side's the same we got a nice mirror, mirror picture of obi-wan and the background we have him and vader fighting on a different planet and uh, at the end of, of episode six the back is the same too uh the first paragraph of course is a is an english description of not the character but the show and it says obi-wan kenobi set years after the dramatic events of revenge of the sith <clears throat> Excuse me. Where Kenobi faced the corruption of his friend and Jedi apprentice Anakin Skywalker turned Sith Lord Darth Vader. This is figure number 11. And the rest of the paragraphs are the same thing in different languages. Uh, bottom is the same. We've got a nice picture of the figure. Like the front. Uh, this side is the same because it shows the accessories that the figure comes with. As well as the scale of the figure. The accessories that he comes with is a lightsaber hill. A separate blade a soft goods cloak, and a pistol that you can actually holster into his belt, and the bottom has the plastic-free packaging indication. But that's it for your packaging, so let's take a look at the figure itself. And uh, in terms of details, he looks, you know, great. The body is sculpted nicely, well, the body, well, most of the, well, the outfit, really. Uh, head sculpt looks great. It's not perfect, but it does look like Ewan McGregor in some sort of sense. And the lightsaber hilt looks great. It has that bulky, worn-out look. <clears throat> Excuse me, and it looks accurate to what the, to what he uh, used in the film in the TV show, and obviously because it's set between the uh, the original trilogy and the prequel trilogy, the lightsaber is trying to look more like what Alec Guinness used in the pre in the originals, given that we're kind of heading towards that timeline, and yeah, so that's a nice touch on that. And so articulation that Obi Wan has is a ball joint at the head, hinge shoulders, hinge elbows, hinge wrists, ball joint at the waist. Hinge hips, swivel upper thigh, hinge knees, and hinge ankles. And again, the outfit looks nice. The belt looks nice. The boots look nice. And as I mentioned, you can um, holster the pistol right there. And you can also put it in uh, his hand, preferably the right hand because he has the trigger finger. And uh, yeah. So let's do a quick 360 of the figure. And I think I mentioned that you can also remove the soft goods uh, cloak. And uh, yeah, that's the figure. And before we end the video, let's do a quick comparison to the Jedi Legend Obi Wan Kenobi. Uh, this version is another version from the show, and this was the last outfit that we saw him wear at the end of uh, Episode Six, which was also the finale of the show. And quick comparison: these are slightly different because the head sculpt is similar, uh, but it's different. The outfit is also different too. They did not use the same body; they made a new sculpt. Uh, they also gave him a, a slightly different cloak. I'm sorry, slightly different cloak, uh, because the legend Obi Wan has the pocket, and the uh, Jabim one doesn't. But uh, yeah, they do look similar, um, at a glance, and you know up close. But they're not the same figure. I mean, some might think that they're the same figure at a glance, but they're not. So yeah. So again, you know, thought I'd do a quick comparison. The lightsaber accessories are pretty much the same. Uh, Legend Obi Wan has a darker paint application to the emitter and the uh, overall hilt, but it's the same mold nonetheless. But yeah, I just thought I'd do a quick comparison of uh, Jedi Legend Obi Wan and Jabim Obi Wan side by side. But yeah, that's uh, just something I thought I'd do. And uh, yeah, so I'll review that Legend Obi Jedi Legend Obi Wan in the next video. And with that being said, thank you for watching as always. Be sure to like, subscribe comment down below, hit the bell icon, and I will see you in the next video. May the force be with you, and have a great rest of your day or night. Bye.